Hey TBA fam, Ethan Dainberg here coming at you with another weekly executive tip. And this week we're going to be discussing your USP, unique selling point. I'm going from the master closer course this week. I'm going to go ahead and share with you the definition of that. What is a unique selling point? A unique selling point is what makes your product competitively strong and what sets you apart from the competition. It is generally the most valuable, unique advantage of your product or service. All right, with me today, I have a valued possession. That's right, a cup of coffee I paid six bucks for. How did I get to six dollars? This is crazy. Feels like yesterday it was five dollars, which is already too much. But somehow, this company, you guys know the name of it, they have convinced me over the course of time to pay six dollars for a large cup of coffee. Now, how do we get to this point? Well, everyone sells coffee. There's coffee everywhere. In fact, if you're from the Pacific Northwest watching this video, you know there is coffee at every corner. Coffee relatively tastes the same if it's made well. So what makes it unique? What makes this unique? And why do they have me coming back to them over and over and over again and paying good money every week for something I can get anywhere or even make on my own almost instantaneously? Well, their unique selling point is not just their coffee. It's not just their product. Yes, it tastes good, but look at how it's packaged. When you walk into a Starbucks, what is the experience like? What's the ambiance, right? What, have they, what has Howard Schultz done to make himself different? One thing I know for sure is their product is consistent. Also, they're everywhere. Every corner you look at, you see somebody with the Starbucks coffee or a Starbucks coffee shop. There's no way they're not gonna be in your space. So we know at the end of the day, it's important to be everywhere. The one option your patient has for healthcare is the solution to their health that you provide. But also it's the experience you're giving your patients. It is the services you're offering and the results that you get every single day, right? Miracles as usual in your practice. But look at all the different factors and your unique selling point. The service itself, the results that you get, but also the interactions that they have, how your staff are trained to interact with your, with your patients, the ambiance, the visual feel of your office. What does the office feel like, look like when they walk into it and wait to go get their adjustment? Walk into your practice today as a new patient. That's your assignment. I want you to walk in as a new patient, erase anything that you know about your practice, and look at it, just observe exactly what you see as a new patient. Is it conducive with your unique selling point that you have for your practice? That's your first exercise. The next exercise, I want you to write out what is your USP for your practice. Write it down, figure it out. Work with your coach to establish exactly what it is. And then third, train your staff on that. Make sure that they understand what your USP is, that everything they do, every conversation, every experience and every interaction with your patients are with that in mind. Hope that helps guys for this week's weekly executive tip. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my coffee and get back to work. So should you, see you next week.